Charles here on the Ivy League Digital Network with Dave Presky. I'm Bill Spaulding, and this is a big race, the JV race between Harvard and Northeastern. Harvard's JV is currently the top-ranked JV boat in the country. They have not lost this year, but they will be pushed today by Harvard's third varsity and by Northeastern's JV boat. We'll run you through the lineups, and we'll start with Harvard's 3V boat, which is the unanchored boat at the bottom of your picture. Uh, freshman Jennifer Coons is the coxswain. Dom Glover, a sophomore in the stroke. Junior Yuri Udom in seat seven. And sophomore Ryan Rasmussen in seat six, senior Pat Dowling in seat five, junior Tommy Marshall in seat four, junior Phil Bates in seat three, sophomore Curtis McLeod in seat two, and sophomore Ben Strathmore is the bow. Northeastern's boat in the middle of your picture, their JV boat looks like this. The coxswain is junior Louis Kopolov in the stroke seat, freshman Will Smith, senior Eric Winkert in seat seven, freshman Grayson Stiegler in seat six, seat five is senior Kevin Metter, seat four, sophomore Andrew Maglio, seat three is Gabriel Tomicha Jr., sophomore Bradley Walter in seat number two. The bow is Matai Herrega another senior for Northeastern. And then Harvard's undefeated top-ranked JV boat looks like this. The coxswain, the top of your screen is sophomore Jacqueline Goodman. Freshman Liam Corrigan is the stroke. Sophomore Travis Taff in seat seven. Junior Henry Kennelly in seat six. Seat five is freshman Lars Lorsch. Seat four, junior Sean Vedronel. In seat number three is senior Occam Harzheim in his last competitive race here on the Charles River. Senior Adam James, another senior, racing his last race on the Charles in seat two. And and freshman Sammy Meyer is the bow. Big race for this JV boat trying to stay undefeated heading into sprints. Yeah, no, and Northeastern is, you know, they've got a strong top two boat, so this is going to be a dogfight. So uh, interested to see how this one develops. And just want to note, conditions have picked up a little bit here. Yeah. We've, the headwind has gotten a bit more aggressive as we saw in the second half of that last race. So times we once thought would be fast and fair are now fair but slow. Water a little choppier as well with a few bumps out in front of us. Last year, Harvard won the, the varsity eight race against Northeastern, but the Huskies took the JV race. So long with trying to stay undefeated, a little bit of redemption from last season for Harvard's JV boat. Yeah, and you know, this is for bragging rights of the Charles. I mean, the BU's not here, but you know, you know, this is, you know, you want to win this one. You see these guys every day in the river, so love to stick it to them. 3V at the bottom, Harvard's JV at the top, Northeastern's JV in the middle. Set for action in the second of three races today on the Ivy League Digital Network. And you can see the wind is now pushing people a little bit to the starboard side. Um, so uh, the coxswain on the 3V, since they're not anchored, is constantly trying to adjust. And because they're not anchored, is sort of drifting into the northeastern boat. Yeah, just two stake boats today. So it's a little bit difficult for Harvard's 3V boat, coxswain by Jennifer Coons, to try and stay straight here off the chute. And we saw how important the start was in the 4V race. Harvard built a big lead at the start, only to win by a tenth of a second as northeastern finished strong. Yeah, they had a feisty, feisty last 500, so... Um, you know, something, something these crews for Harvard are going to have to address. And I think we have the Wisconsin crew on the, on the course, yep. so we have to wait for them to clear. Um, They're just getting themselves comfortable on the Charles River today. They'll face Northeastern tomorrow, facing BU today as they get used to the, the new uh, surroundings. We saw Wisconsin's JV boat putting down an impressive run against BU when we were crossing by to get back here. Yeah, they stomped them. They had open water by the 800, which is, you know, BU is a well-regarded crew up and down that boathouse, and so that was quite a victory. And those Wisco guys, that's, I think, maybe one of their first races of the year, so... All right, here we go. Harvard JV ranked number one in the country. Northeastern's JV, which clipped Harvard last year, and Harvard's 3V. Good start for the 3V boat at the bottom of your picture, gaining some early ground. Yep, and I've got the Harvard JV coming off at a 50. They are humming out of the chute. Yeah, and I've got the 3V at a 45. Looks like both have gained ground on Northeastern early. The 2V up top, the 3V at the bottom, Ooh, and they are coming out like behind. banshees. Holy cow. You think they had a little bit of something built up for this one, huh? Yeah, you might have a couple angry or excited seniors in that boat. Man, they, they have whipped off the start here. Just sort of a pistol whip. An experienced uh, front of that 
Harvard JV boat with seniors Occam Harzheim and Adam James in seats three and two. But then you, of course, have the freshman Sammy Meyer in the bow. He has his team out in front with the 3V boat also ahead of Northeastern over the first 400 meters. A very good start for Harvard. Yeah, wow, this JV is pumping in early. And the 3V is right there with them. I mean, you've got some guys in the 3V that want to be in that 2V. So, you know, we were talking about a dogfight. I wasn't, I was sort of expecting it to be between the, the Harvard JV and the Northeastern JV, but both of these crews have open water or near open water on the Northeastern JV already. Put me in the mindset of a guy who's in this 3V boat right now, because you had some experience in the 3V boat during your career. When you get a chance to go head to head against your own JV boat, uh, is, is there a little extra something to, to go for there than your just typical 3V race? Yeah, you're sending a message to the coaching staff that I want to be in the JV. And I had a race exactly like this, and you know, we had a guy switched into the JV and made that JV boat faster. We lost our JV by two seconds, and the coaching staff wasn't happy with that difference in speed, and they made changes. And right now, I think I have the Harvard 3V over the Harvard JV. These guys are dumping it right now. And both of them with a full-length lead on Northeastern sitting in third. But remember, in our last race, the Huskies finished strong. So if you're Harvard here, you're looking to build this margin in the middle thousand meters. Yeah. And, you know, I think I see the Harvard JV sneaking out a little bit, but both these crews are just inching away from this Northeastern crew, and they have sent a message to Northeastern in this first thousand that the party might be over. It's a race showing off the depth of this Harvard boathouse when you see the 2V and the 3V taking the lead on a very well-regarded Northeastern JV squad. Harvard's JV team still undefeated this season, 7-0. They even clipped Princeton on a day when Princeton took all the other races. Yeah, and I got the Harvard JV. They, it looks like they're taking a move on their own 3V, and they've probably got four seats now at about a 37. And we've got the Harvard JV coming through a 253-ish, and the 3V at 255-ish, and right now the Northeastern JV coming through. So this is an awesome display of depth. And right into now. the headwind, a pretty fast yeah. time over the first thousand as well. Yeah, and this 3V, you know, th these guys are racing for bragging rights too. They would love to stomp the JV of another boathouse. And you know the uh, coxswain, Jennifer Coons, in that 3V boat doesn't need to ask too much from her 3V group, knowing they have that built-in motivation going against the, the 2V side. 2V, though, with that probably two-seat, maybe three-seat lead at this point, and their lead has continued to stretch over the last few hundred meters. Yeah, and they've got, you know, they've got big open water now on this JV, so this duel is well in hand. And now it's a question of putting up margins. You talked about defending that number one ranking. Uh, these Northeastern guys are going to race Wisco tomorrow. And so as you think about that and where the ranking should be and seeding for sprints, you know, put, posting a huge margin is important. So these guys, you know, these guys want the least path of resistance through sprints. And a big one here is important in doing that. Sprints in two weeks out in Worcester. Harvard's JV trying to send a message, as is the 3V boat at this point, trying to put folks on notice that Harvard's 3V is capable of a battle against some of the top JV boats in the country. Yeah, both these Harvard crews shut the door early. This Northeastern crew, I'm not sure they were prepared for this sort of aggressive start from, from either crew. And, um, you know, it barring some sort of crab, you know, it was over before it began. You hit that stroke count of 50 out of the start for Harvard's JV. You don't get to 50 very often. That was no. a really hot start. These guys were pumping it. They are serving it hot and nasty. So, you know, we th this is a great start. This is fantastic. And this Harvard 3V is taking more open water on this Northeastern JV. 450 gone. We're inside the final 500. Harvard 2V, Harvard 3V seem to have this one put away with Northeastern behind in third. It looks like Harvard's JV boat continues to build on the 3V, so we have our finishing order pretty much uh, taken care of with 300 meters to go. Yeah, and I'm just going to take some more stroke. And I got the Harvard 2V at 37, and the Harvard 3V they're still they're still kicking it along here at a 37 38 as well you know as we see this margin is not getting smaller they're putting more and more on this JV they have the 3v boat gaining ground on both Northeastern's JV and maybe even gaining a little bit of ground now on the Harvard JV boat as we come to the finishing line still the JV one the 3v2 but 
it's a close race. Yeah, you know, I'd say the JV probably is maybe open on or close to it now. But this has been, you know, despite the headwind, this has been an excellent time. You know, we're, we are five strokes from the finish here, and this is going to be... Here comes Harford's JV in a dominant performance. Harford's JV boat stays undefeated at number one in the country, and they cross at 6.11. Here comes the 3V just behind, unofficially at 6.15. Northeastern coming in about 10 seconds behind oh, Harvard's JV boat. Great racing. They shut the door early. That was awesome. Harvard's 2V and 3V with a dominant middle race of the day and now all that's left for the Crimson to complete the sweep is the varsity race for the Smith Cup but the 2V and 3V steal the show with a dominant performance taking down the Northeastern at JV. Our varsity 8 race is next on the Ivy League Digital Network.